We've been watching one of the top games from the past season, 1978. This one uh, today between the Manhattan Chiefs and the Midwest Pioneers. For Bay Bomber fans, occasionally it's kind of nice to uh, see the other teams in action. And with us as our guest today is the owner and the general manager of the San Francisco Bay Bombers, Dave Lipschultz. And Dave, a lot of the skaters that we saw in this game today from the Chiefs and the Pioneers are going to be in Sacramento for a very big game. It's a very exciting evening coming up on October 21st as the Bay Bombers, who are now, of course, the world champions for two years in a row, are taking on the League All-Stars. And the League All-Stars this year include the top skaters from all the teams in the league, Cal Stevens, Bob Hine, Alfonso Reyes, the list goes on and on and on. On the women's field, Sandy Dunn, Debbie Cho, Jan Vallow, all on the same team. They'll be skating against the Bay Bombers in this exciting and important All-Star game. And it's going to be the same Bay Bomber lineup that uh, took them to the 1978 championship. Uh, Charlie may have a couple of extra skaters in uniform, I don't really know, but still it's an awful strong team to go against, the All-Star team. It's the first time that there has been an All-Star game in Sacramento since the 1971 season. That goes back quite a ways. Uh, for fans in the Sacramento area, if you want to get an idea what an All-Star game looks like, next week on Channel 31, you'll see the 1977 All-Star game. It was skated down in the Bay Area, so you'll have a good chance to see what it's like to have one team go against the top skaters from every other team in the league. And Dave, it's been an interesting season for the Bay Bombers. What, uh, looking ahead? I look for a lot, a lot of young talent coming up in the next year. Next season, I look for an even stronger lineup of games in the Sacramento Stockton area throughout the Valley. The tremendous support we've gotten this season has been really inspira inspirational to me as, as management of the Bay Bombers to see crowd after crowd after crowd, packed houses every night in Sacramento and Stockton. And we're looking forward to this All-Star game coming up in just a few weeks. Well, Dave, that's the very reason that Sacramento was picked for the 1978 All-Star game was because of the tremendous support that the fans have given the team throughout the season. And the Bombers took the 1978 championship title in Sacramento, and they'll be back with that All-Star game. Again, that's on Saturday night, October the 21st, 8 p.m. is game time. And for fans that are down in the Bay Area, tickets are uh, not only at the community center box offices in Sacramento, but they're also... At you can also find them at all the Bass and Ticketron outlets throughout northern and central California, and of course through western Nevada, Reno. A lot of people come from Reno down to Sacramento just to see the games. That's right. And tickets are priced at four seventy-five, four twenty-five, and three dollars. And Dave, that includes the admissions tax, does right, it not? Right, there's a 5% admissions tax in Sacramento and that's included in those tickets. I also want to mention, Ken, there are special low kids prices in effect. I think the most expensive kids ticket is 250. Well, you can see you can bring the entire family out and it's not gonna cost you a week's paycheck at all to see one of the most exciting games that you could see in a, in a season, and that is the Bay Bombers and the International Roller Skating League All-Stars. And all that action again is coming up on Saturday night, October the 21st, 8 p.m. is game time at the air-conditioned Sacramento Memorial Auditorium. Dave Lipschultz, thank you very much for being with us tonight, and come back next week. We'll chat a little bit more about I this. I look forward to seeing you there, Ken. Okay, Dave. We'll see you next week.